Hello everyone. Today, we are going to discuss business transactions and their analysis as applied to the accounting cycle of a service business. We will be tackling accounting cycle steps 1 to 4. Before we proceed, let us review the different types of business according to activities. We have the service business or a type of business which offers professional skills, advice, and consultations. Merchandising business, which buys at wholesale and later sells the products at retail. And the manufacturing business, which buys raw materials and uses them in making a new product. Therefore, combining raw materials, labor, and expenses into a product for sale later on. Examples of service businesses include barber shops, offices of practicing doctors, lawyers, and other professionals, repairs of TV and other electrical equipment, auto repair shop, laundry shop, and dressmaker. Let us also review the five major accounts. We have the assets or the resources owned by a business, liabilities or the claims against the assets of the business, the equity or the claim of the owner or owners of the business, the income and the expenses. A service business provides a needed service for a fee. In general, service businesses actually have no physical products sold to clients. Their services are designed to facilitate the work of clients and in return are paid. Let us now proceed to the accounting cycle. The accounting cycle is made up of eight steps. Identifying transactions, preparation of journal entries, posting to ledgers, the trial balance, worksheet, adjusting journal entries, financial statements, and the closing of the books. The chart of accounts is a listing of the accounts used by companies in their financial records. It helps to identify where the money is coming from and where it is going. It is the foundation of the financial statements. And this is an example of the chart of accounts. Let us now do the accounting cycle. Step 1. Identifying transactions. At this stage, the documents used by the business are analyzed whether it has financial impact or effect. Step 2. Preparation of Journal Entries In preparing the journal entries, we have to remember the rules on debits and credits. Also, we should remember the accounting equation, which is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. We should also remember the normal balances of the accounts. Assets are on the debit side. Liabilities are on the credit side. Equity or capital are also on the credit side. Income on the credit side and expenses on the debit side. 
For the transactions for this activity, we will be using the following accounts. Cash, Accounts Receivable, Office Supplies, Office Equipment, Accounts Payable, Mercedes Capital, Mercedes Drawing, Service Revenue, Salaries Expense, and Rent Expense. Let us now begin with the first transaction. On January 1, 2018, Maria Mercedes invested 300,000 pesos to her business. She named the business Mercedes Car Repair Shop. In this transaction, Maria's assets increased in the form of cash. At the same time, her capital also increased. So, we have our journal entry, debit, cash, and credit Mercedes Capital of 300,000 pesos to record the initial investment of owner Maria Mercedes. Next transaction is January 3, 2018, where she purchased office supplies amounting to 4,000 pesos on account from X supplier. Maria's assets increased in the form of office supplies, but at the same time, her liabilities also increased. So the entry is debit, office supplies, and credit accounts payable for 4,000 pesos to record the purchase of office supplies on account from X supplier. January 4, she received 20,000 pesos from a customer in payment for services rendered. Maria's assets increased in the form of cash. At the same time, her income also increased. So therefore, the journal entry for January 4 is debit cash and credit service revenue of 20,000 pesos. This is to record the receipt of cash from customer for the services rendered. On January 5, she made a payment to X supplier amounting to 4,000 pesos for the supplies purchased on January 3. As we remember, we have a journal entry made on January 3. In this case, Maria's liabilities decreased. At the same time, her assets in the form of cash decreased. So, we have a journal entry of debit and accounts payable and credit cash of 4,000 pesos to record the payment of account due to X supplier. On January 6, she rendered services to Malacas Company amounting to 20,000 pesos payable on January 17, 2018. Maria's assets increased in a form of a receivable since the service rendered was not yet paid by the customer. At the same time, her income also increased. So, on January 6, we have a journal entry of debit, accounts receivable, and credit service revenue of 20,000 pesos to record the services rendered to Malacas Company on account. On January 10, 2018, she collected 15,000 pesos from Magaling Company for services rendered. This time, Maria's assets increased in the form of cash. At the same time, her income also increased. So, the journal entry for January 10 is debit cash and credit service revenue for 15,000 pesos to record the receipt of cash from customer for services rendered. On 
On January 15, Maria withdrew 30,000 pesos from her business to pay for the tuition of her son. In this case, Maria's equity decreased. At the same time, her assets in the form of cash decreased. So, the journal entry for January 15, 2018 is debit Mercedes drawing and credit cash worth 30,000 pesos to record the withdrawal of cash for personal use. On January 17, she collected 20,000 pesos of the accounts receivable from Malakas Company. And remember, we have a journal entry made on January 6. In this case, Maria's assets increased in the form of cash. At the same time, her assets in the form of receivable decreased. So, the entry for January 17 is debit cash and credit accounts receivable for 20,000 pesos to record the receipt of cash from Malakas Company for the account due. On January 18, 2018, Maria paid the salary of the office secretary amounting to 15,000 pesos. Maria's expenses increased while her assets in the form of cash decreased. So, the entry for January 18 is debit salaries expense and credit cash amounting to 15,000 pesos to record the payment of salary of the office secretary. On January 19, 2018, she purchased office equipment from Y supplier worth 20,000 pesos by paying 40% down payment and the balance on account. For this transaction, Maria's assets in the form of an equipment increased. At the same time, her assets in the form of cash decreased while her liabilities also increased. For January 19, the journal entry is as follows. Debit office equipment of 20,000 pesos. Credit cash of 8,000 pesos, which is the 40% of the 20,000 pesos. And credit accounts payable 12,000 pesos. On January 22, 2018, she rendered services to clients and received cash amounting to 20000 Maria's assets increased in the form of cash. At the same time, her income also increased. So the journal entry for January 22 is debit cash and credit service revenue of 20000 pesos to record the receipt of cash from customer for services rendered. On January 25, she collected 15,000 pesos from Masigasig Company for services rendered. Again, in this transaction, Maria's assets increased in the form of cash. At the same time, her income also increased. So the journal entry for January 25 is debit cash and credit service revenue of 15,000 pesos to record the receipt of cash from a gasing company for services rendered. On January 28, 2018, Maria paid 2,000 pesos of the accounts payable to Y supplier. Again, 
we have made an entry on January 19. So this transaction made Maria's liabilities decrease. At the same time, her assets also decreased in the form of cash. So the entry for January 28 is debit accounts payable and credit cash of 2,000 pesos to record the payment to Y supplier for account due. On January 30, she rendered services to clients and received cash amounting to 15,600 pesos. Again, Maria's assets in this transaction increased in the form of cash. At the same time, her income also increased. So, the journal entry for January 30 is debit cash and credit service revenue amounting to 15,600 to record the receipt of cash from customers for services rendered. On January 31, 2018, she paid 10,000 pesos rental for the month of January 2018. In this transaction, Maria's expenses increased while her assets in the form of cash decreased. So, the journal entry for January 31 is debit, rent expense, and credit cash of 10,000 pesos to record the payment of rent for the month of January 2018. We are now done journalizing the entries. We are now going to post the entries in the ledger. So as we can see, we have used T accounts to post the journal entries. Then we proceed to step 4, the preparation of the adjusted trial balance. So here is the format in preparing our unadjusted trial balance. So we have our current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, capital, drawing, income, and expenses. For the month ended January 31, 2018, this is the unadjusted trial balance of Mercedes Car Repair Shop. Thank you very much and have a good day.